So I wanted to go down here. Because I didn't think you could go up. Well, the thing is, you fail to jump down on top of the pipe. Yeah, so this is the, the lowest possible level. Now you need to find a way back up. It's okay. I know how. <laughs> I going yet further down. <laughs> As travel back up to the top. Let's see. And this one. Upper level. Mm -hmm. Alright, there we go. And we are home free. So... This is where we came out of. This is where all those dudes we fought were. Yes. I went across over there and got that thing. Yeah, but you need to go to the right, I think. Yeah, I'm just trying to be semi-thorough. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah, I, I... Or there's that platform. Pretty sure I took that platform to get an item. There's an item over there. Okay. Like, all the way on the left. But I, th I think we've gotten it at this point, so I don't know if I care. Okay, Black Rock Quarry. First lore. Oh, yeah. Fan supplement. The oscillator. AI 3KE. Supplementary materials. Extract from formal interdepartmental complaint. The notion of fan death has now become widely known in the region since foreign investigator Blank met with a local journalist to explain how electric fans operate at speeds that may suffocate users by overly uh, disturbing the air. What? As our agency is still young, we must take care to avoid missteps. Any explanation given to the public must provide sufficient yet vague rationale that will reaffirm their certainty that ours is a stable, controlled world. We must tread carefully especially in this increasingly technological world, with the radio and other innovations allowing information to travel at speeds previously undreamt of. This is precisely why we insist that our department handle all communication with public bodies. With all due respect, William S. Powers, head of the Department of Public Knowledge and Diversions. So they're referring to how they have to clean up various situations well myths and superstitions are very very dangerous mm -hmm, because if, they can create these things too many people believe that fan death is a thing then fans will actually do that yeah <laughs> you know if too many people believe that there's aliens at area 51 but how many people would we be required to constitute I mean, well, it doesn't even have to be a fervent belief. It just has to be kind of a general knowledge. Right, but at what point does it go from just a few crazy people to the general populace um, affirming something and then making it become reality? I'm just wondering what the cutoff point is. Does it have to be thousands? Millions? The majority? I think once you start getting into tens of thousands, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me that... Okay, that didn't work. I think the objects were hitting into the walls as opposed to I think your it was inside target. the wall. Yep. Not sure if the elevator is busted or not. I gotta just jump down because there might be goodies, but it looks like I just have to go down this manually. I mean, obviously at this point I'm stuck. There's no going back. But still. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really sure what would be a good example of that. Well, I mean, obviously there's probably enough people that believe in Bigfoot, probably, to constitute a the existence of a big Bigfoot. Considering how this world operates, you know? Mm hmm What other, like, things? Chupacabra's probably kind of real. Eh. But I like, mean, various gods at one point or another. Yeah, that would be interesting. But, 
But once again, those are living creatures as opposed to objects. And it seems like in this world, it tends to only affect objects. So yeah, that's an, an object, point. an object would be like when we talked about the Rosetta Stone or Excalibur or the Ring of Power. <laughs> okay, so let's get rid of. Let's. Oh. Whoop. <laughs> okay. Well let's, then. Let's let's rule out. Oh, the elevator was busted because this is all screwed of, up. Yep. Okay, so let's. Let's change this, so nothing living can necessarily be immediately uplifted as a result. Cult of personality does not work. Object worth worship would, so Holy Grail would probably exist. Oh yeah. Uh, King, King Arthur's sword. I are, yeah, I had already mentioned this Excalibur. Black Rock Quarry. Probably, what were other interesting things? The Spear Holy of Longinus. Crap, how far can I mind control? Pretty much anything that was in that one chamber in the Hellboy movie. Because those were all artifacts. Probably the Golden Fleece. The Ten Commandments. It seems like there's a lot of a lot of special items in particular within mythology. So yeah, you had mentioned weapons or objects or vehicles. So Air Force One would probably be kind of, <laughs> kind of special. How many of them are there at this point, though? Um, are there only ever one at a time, and they're I've, commissioned? And you know, that's an interesting question. My assumption is you probably only have one. Ooh, the Maui statues. The oh. Moai. Those would probably be. You mean the Easter Island ones? Yeah, those guys. Okay. I think people are still puzzled as to how they even got there. Yeah, Stonehenge Henge would definitely have some kind of effect. Probably well, a portal. Yeah. I mean, Stonehenge is... It's highly associated with the, the stars and such. Keeping track of cycles and time. I could imagine it being some kind of means to see the future or go back into the past or yeah, time machine. Federal Bureau of Control. We need additional diamond blades ASAP. Continuous rim. This time to get the clean cut research wants. This black rock shit is tough. We're going through blades like we're made of the damn things. The dimensions for these slabs of black rock that they want are outrageous. For all the grief that they're causing me, these fire breaks better effing work. Uh, uh wait, work a treat? What was that supposed to mean? Mm. Go ahead and double the last order. So essentially, they're upset about just what they're cutting out the black. Wait, wait a minute. What were the dimensions that they were wanting? Massive cubes? Very particular pyramidal shapes? Whoa, it's one of those crazy creatures. Well, Ouch. that works slightly differently than what I was expecting. I, I think you got obliterated by the rock creature finding you. Yeah, I was not expecting them to just be there. Oh, 
Oh, did this start a side mission? Strategic target his guards, kill his guards, kill enemies without dying. Survival tactics. Uh, let's see. Uh, it it just re-triggered the uh. Um... Actually, it, it just re-triggered the uh, the side missions. <laughs> Unfortunately, since I died, it reset the the uh, counter on the kill enemies with that dying thing, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. Okay. The interesting thing is, when I look back through history and through mythology, it seems like the majority of objects that I would believe it to be an object of power seem to be the MacGuffins of any fantasy story. <laughs> you know, the the crystal or the book or the the ring, the thing that everyone searches for. Those tend to be the MacGuffin things of power that people are pursuing. The hell are these things? They look like people that have growths on their head or it's been split open. I, I can't tell. It's a person that's kind of fossilized. Yeah, they have all this rock growing around them and... Ugh. Head exploded. Federal Bureau of Control. Linda. I saw David last night. I was working late in the quarry when he stumbled out from behind some black rock and looked like hell. I called up to medical right away. He was half starved. He's been missing for two weeks, so I guess it's not a surprise. While I was waiting for someone to get come help, he kept telling me about some carvings. Something about an ancient tree. I couldn't really understand him. When the medics came, they brought security. They grabbed David and hauled him off. They interrogated me for a couple of hours about what David had told me. Anyway, I know you're on the next shift, so I thought I'd leave this for you. He was your husband. You have a right to know. The way security was acting? Well, I don't know if we're going to see David again. I'm so sorry, Linda. Burn this after you read it. B. Well, she never did. Is this the fate that many of them succumb to? I thought they said that they put expeditions out in here and then they never returned. Correct? Or was that into the, the astral realm or plane? Possibly? Oh, is this something that you're going to have to constantly run away from, or is this something you can fight? Uh, what, the mine? The Cause astral devourer? Because I thought you had to trap the last one. It wasn't something yeah, you could defeat. Yeah, this one's just an inconvenience. Really but a potentially fatal inconvenience. Hey, there seem to be some. Oh no, never mind. Still think it would be cool to find like. Wish there was a way to bring light in here. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised there isn't. Big chasm. There's that over there, but heck mm -hmm. no, I'm not going to be able to reach that with my current abilities. Which is a bit of a shame. I was hoping for more. So we so must you just get... need to find a particular sample. Oh, not what I expected. Ooh. I do kind of wish the uh, space up there was shifting as well. Like it wasn't just a flat texture, but it was moving. Is it supposed to be a nebula with something sticking out of it, or is that the surface yeah, of some know. kind of ceiling?
I mean, Nebula mostly? I don't really know. I've kind of given up uh, trying to like immediately comprehend this game. It's not that it's incomprehensible necessarily, but like I feel like the more I question it, the <laughs> the uh, the more questions you well, produce, yeah. Sort of, I don't know. This is kind of one of those games where I feel like the more I like try, and, oh, uh, the more I like try and like comprehend it and like answer, the more like my suspension or disbelief might kind of crumble a little bit or like the oh, more I'll yeah. kind of I, want answers. It's supposed to be inconceivable, the way that this other realm or dimension or these extra dimensional beings, these creatures, like the one that resides inside her head or the one that is the hiss. Okay, so we've got a bunch of these dudes. That's the question of how any of these people are able to live a normal life outside of this building. Didn't it imply that the director had a or had an apartment outside of the normal yeah. building and that people could come in and out? It it just seemed like they were checking in for a normal job, but how could they possibly keep the secret of all of this away from friends and family and their spouses? I think I think because they realize. But also in the case of the mining couple, it seemed like they both worked in this facility, so... Those gun noises are ridiculously loud. Whoa. I feel bad. But I might have to turn the sound effects down. Really? Yeah. Maybe it's not so bad, but it certainly it feels. It seems pretty soft to me, but I maybe my headphones. Uh, are yeah, I think your headphones are in. not plugged in correctly. Mhm. Mm well, that cleared up. Is there a point down here? Oh. Oh. We've got this. Oh, you need another one? Yep, luckily there's loads of these things all over the place. Can I activate a machine or... Oh, no. Incident report. Quarry operations. Summary. During my weekly safety inspection of the quarry threshold, I discovered the entire crew in a state of blank. The whole team was blank, aligned, and staring in a uniform direction, the city in the distance. Despite my most vocal efforts to gain their attention, they remained blank for more than blank minutes until I had to resort to literally blankety blanking. Afterwards, they were dazed, and I could not provide any rationale for their behavior or any specific memories of engaging in it. My official recommendation for any crew working on the threshold area is to either shorten the length of their shifts or to carry out mandatory psychological evaluations on a weekly basis, or preferably both. And maybe we should order another expedition to the city. Refer to file 558-3096 for the full report. Now they're referring to something called the city. So there's the maze, the threshold, the city. I was just going to turn the sound effects down. More. It's still stupid. Oh, I think you need to push the button on the right. Is that louder? Maybe not. I don't know. Whoa. Blasted that out. It's probably got the rock we're looking for. Give it a nice chunk. And there it is. Right where you led me. 
HRAs, the prisms, they mean something to you. I need to get this prism to Marshall before it's too late. HRAs, I then Dylan. Oh, Dylan is her brother. Also, I can't hear her voice at all. Is it like that on your end, or is it because no, you didn't I can, plug me in? No, I can in? hear it just fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll try and fix it for you soon. Mm-hmm. That'll help. Tell me when you hear gunfire normally. Oh, the thing is coming. You should... No, it's not. Tell me when you hear gunfire well, I need to... normally. The gunfire is very muffled. But the thing is, uh, I don't... Until I hear a voice, I won't know. If the okay, gunfire... now, now, that, now that sounds normal, I suppose. Okay. Yeah, for people wondering, loose cord. Yeah, Wander has this weird setup. It, it's like an adapter, but... It's a splitter. Mm hmm No smoking reminder. Federal Bureau of Control. All Bureau personnel are reminded to kindly not smoke in the quarry. Even though the quarry area is technically an outdoor space, it is still part of the Bureau and therefore no smoking rule does apply. Not only is it considerate towards your fellow employees to refrain from inflicting the harm of secondhand smoke, but it is also prudent to avoid any risk of gas fires, unforeseen threshold reactions, and possible creation of altered receptacles. Under no circumstances should cigarette butts be left in the quarry. Thank you for your understanding. Wait, are they saying that because enough people could smoke there, they would actually bring an ashtray of power into existence for their Potentially. own? Potentially. I see. That's an interesting thought. That would be out of need. Do you think if enough people concocted a device out of desire or need, that that's how they come about? Maybe. Not just purely belief in something that already exists. Oh. Was there a sub? So there's this an area up above. Mm, sorry for the yawn. An area up above here that I'm really curious about getting to. Unfortunately, it seems wildly unlikely that I'm going to be able to get there through conventional means. And yeah, not on the crane. Okay. I guess let's get out of here. Whatever, whatever other zones and things we can go into. Oh, yep. There's the creature down there. They're flashy suckers. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, let's just get out of here. Yeah, there's another one. Or two. Interesting that he... Like, they fight it as well. Well, they're not entities that are associated with the hiss. No, it makes... It makes sense. They had a green energy about them as opposed to the red one. about 
how common it is to have female character protagonists with red hair. Uh... It's... striking, maybe? Seems to be fairly common. Okay. I think it's because it is a fairly rare hair color. But also... I suppose... Black and brown hair are probably the most common. And then... Blonde is... Likely rarer, but... Might produce too much glow. In a video game setting. You know when you've seen characters with blonde hair. Mm -hmm. And it ends up creating too much blue. I mean, I think there's also per different perceptions. Like, black hair is depressing, brown hair is boring, blonde hair usually means you're not smart. I mean, red also has connotations of, of aggression, power bloodshed things of that nature uh, let's see these guys are tough but I think what is this it is this blah, this statistic, less than 1% of the population has red hair. Might even be in the low decimals. Like a fraction of a percent. And that's, of course, keeping it into adulthood, too. Some little children start off with red hair, but then it becomes something else. Kind of like how, didn't you say your brother had very blonde hair, but then it went really dark? Yeah, he went full, he was like full platinum blonde for much of our childhood together. Mm-hmm. And then he ended up with hair darker than yours. Uh, yeah, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's been a while. Because yours is sort of like a dark, sandy, blonde, brown. My hair, my hair is a very dark brown, almost black. Actually, it's very different depending on whether or not you start at the root or the tips. Because if I lift the ends of my hair to the top of my head, my ends look like a very kind of ruddy brown. And then the top of my head looks like it's almost black. But that's probably just from the hair fading as it ages. Oh. I can use an elevator. When I was younger, uh, you know how you can have highlights in your hair? Or a sheen or a shine? You have golden yeah. glints to your hair. But I actually have uh, a kind of like orange red glint. And I remember that there was a specific strand on the right side that would glow more brightly than the others. But I don't know if I have it anymore. I think it may have grown out. Now I'm getting gray hairs. <laughs> so what happens when you start approaching 30? You're Greek and you start approaching 30. I'm just going bald. Well, we don't know that yet. If it's gonna progress all the way. We've discovered that Wander might have a thinning spot on the back of his head. Yep. Kind of like where you would have the friar cap. And for some guys, it either it just falls out in a circle then and there, but it doesn't go all the way to the front. Or you get the Captain Picard look where the front all the way to the back goes, but you still keep the sides. And 
And then there are the people that lose it entirely. Yep. But who knows? They say that if you already start, if you start noticing the thinning, it means it's already about 50% underway. But might be right ways to reverse it. Early slow down or yeah, because they temporarily say temporarily reverse it. Well, so the reversals unfortunately aren't that effective unless you do a full-on follicle transplant. But for at least preventing it from going further, what it is is it's actually the hair is getting thinner because the follicles are tightening up and eventually will lose the hair entirely. But if you can keep them open enough, I suppose there's chemical means to do that, which is why you have things like Nizerol and Rogaine and things of that nature. Oh, I know where Marshall is. Oh, you need to find Marshall? Why are yeah. we talking about hair loss, though? We are talking about hair color before. That's how we're on this topic. Yeah, and then I got distracted. Is it time to Google strong hair diets? Yeah, kind of. I mean, honestly, eh. Googling strong what? Strong hair diets. I mean, yeah, you can change your diet specifically to try and maintain your hair better. Uh, you could just munch on a bunch of carrots, perhaps. Maybe. But... Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Because that, that would be... Ultimately, there's a billion things that are more important to me than my hair. Welcome back. At the same time... It's ridiculous. I... Hmm. Anyway. Hello. Hair is nice. Had to take a detour into the quarry, but I found plenty. Here. This camera angle is bad. We will start HRA production immediately. I promised I'd tell you about Dylan once you helped us. This is it? She knows. Seventeen years I've waited. Your brother is here. He was once known as Prime Candidate Six, codenamed P6. We brought him here after the ordinary event. He was groomed to be the future director. He had talents far beyond any other candidate in the program. Of course he did. We found you together. We share a bond. Are you with him now? So you kidnapped him. We took him in. Your parents vanished along with every other adult in Ordinary. Eventually, his power changed him. There were casualties. He wasn't fit to be the director. Did you know about this? Is this why you didn't bring me here sooner? Were you keeping me away? Where is Dylan? He's kept in the containment sector, in the Panopticon. My brother. I thought we were the same. What if we are? I'm going. Now. I expected as much. I need to go check on something. Something I cannot let the Hiss find. It shouldn't take long, but you must watch the Bureau while I'm gone. And remember, Dylan is dangerous. Do not let him out, Director Faden. How do I make her stop calling me that? I'm not here for them. Nothing simple here. These people took my brother, but they've accepted me without question. Are they my enemies or my friends? I need to see Dylan. I need to know. I wish you could tell me what you know, explain things. Just stay with me, okay? I could use a friend right now. Jesse. Jesse, yep. Survivors? We've located numerous safe rooms with survivors inside. We're waiting on HRAs before we open them. Once we can safely bring them out, the survivors will be escorted here straight away. Wonderful. Keep me updated. My brother's keeper, find Dylan. Uh 
Okay, launch larger enemies, even more launch damage. What's that mind one off to the side? Mind control, seize duration. Ah, 